I'm Dr. Vishal Kuller. I'm Director of the Cardiothoracic Vascular Surgery and Heart and Lung Transplantation at Nanavati Max Super Specialty Hospital in Mumbai. Just a little bit about my background. I was trained at Cleveland Clinic Foundation and then I was hired as a Senior Associate Consultant at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Today I would like to talk about heart transplantation. Heart transplantation is a life-saving procedure for patients with end-stage heart disease who have undergone medical therapy for a prolonged period of time without any positive outcome. In heart transplantation, a recipient's failing heart is replaced with a healthy donor heart. With an experienced heart transplant team and an advanced quaternary healthcare facility, a patient with heart transplant can live a near normal life. Heart failure can occur due to a variety of reasons. For example, dilated cardiomyopathy or weakening of the heart muscles. Or it can be blockage in the heart, which is called coronary artery disease. Or anything which affects the heart valves, resulting in heart failure. It can be congenital heart defects or a previously failed heart transplant. A heart recipient undergoes a thorough evaluation, which means that we have to evaluate the heart. We need to know what is the pressure in the lungs. Is the patient suffering from any kind of cancers? Or if is suffering from any kind of infections which needs to be treated medically. Once these parameters are fulfilled, the recipient's name is then added to the state and nationwide waitlist. In heart transplants, the family of the brain dead patients or the potential donors play a very important role. A brain dead patient means that although the heart and the lungs are working normally, the brain has stopped working. There is cessation of all the brain activity. A severe head injury, rupture of an aneurysm or stroke, or loss of blood supply to the brain can all cause brain death. Although these patients are brain dead, but their heart and lungs can be functioning normally. This gap in information results in delays and a longer wait list period time for the potential recipients. Heart transplantation is a critical and complicated surgery, which requires high level of expertise and a very dedicated team which can take care of the patient in the post-operative period. However, a heart transplant recipient can lead a normal regular life and they can resume their normal activities like sports or exercise.